Okay guys, I'm back at this town again. Um, I don't know at all where we're supposed to get the Pokedex. So, probably from... Do we go back on the train and hopefully it takes us to that one place? We'll try that guys, I don't know. Hopefully it does work out. No, I think it's still locked. We have to run an investigation. So that was a complete waste of time. I don't know what we're supposed to do, guys. Um, I'll actually try talking to this lady again, and maybe she'll know. Um, I guess the master was over the to battle you when I told her that it was the challenger waiting for her. You see, we need a Pokedex for it first before we even battle elemental masters. Well, I guess there no harm earning the first badge without a Pokedex. Well, why the hell did we get the Pokedex? I guess it's okay, but should have possible to understand. It would be a lot easier if you guys told me where the Pokedex is. Oh, I don't know guys. I'm really... Oh, okay. I'm really confused when it comes to this. Like... Okay. Like... Where are you supposed to get the Pokedex? I guess it's a little bit here. Oh, there it is. I don't have cut it yet, but it is. Oh, I battled the first lady. Uh, the first I battled the first gym leader, so maybe the the boat's open. Or something. I don't know. through this. We'll get to the boat real quick. I know we've been trying to get to the boat for like the last three episodes. Sentry- oh. Overshot it. Where did I put it? Oh no, I didn't overshoot it. No, I'm gonna Gain a little bit of level though while we run through this and I am not doing that. Yeah, there's no harm in gaining a little level while we're running to the boat, so. I you know I've been speeding, like using the speed button and stuff. So I'm sorry if that annoys you guys. Hoping guys. Finally. Good day everyone. This is the captain speaking. SS Aurora will soon depart. We hope you will have a wonderful time while we take you to Haybell Reed or Haybell Academy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm not talking real quiet because I do not want to re-record this over again. Oh, I guess there's nothing in there though. Harbor mail. That's cool. Can't wait to be in that county. We need it. The academy is not too far now. We need no need for me to sleep. What, what have we been doing the whole time sleeping? Sorry, but no one is allowed to enter the upper deck. I can't believe that I am finally going to the academy. This is so exciting. 
can't wait to get there. Huh? Oh. Hi there. My name is Ryan. And I'm an ele electric trainer. And you? I'm, I'm Sky. Oh. You're Sky. That's a nice name. Oh, he's hitting on us. Nice to meet you. Are you going to the academy as well? Oops, wrong button. Oh, darn. I forgot. The ship only goes to the academy. So, that only means that you're going there as well. <laughs> he's nervous. Anyway, the academy is where we can get our Pokédex after we graduate there. It may take us some time to battle real element masters, but hey, it's worth it. Well, Sky, let's do our best in the academy. Attention all passengers. We are now docking in the Eva Academy Island. We thank you for boarding SS Aurora. We've arrived. We've arrived. Yay. It's time for us to go. Oh, hi there. I can't believe that we're finally here in the academy. Just think. Finding here about Pokemon can help us at how to be a real great trainer. What? You want to be a guardian trainer? Well, I don't see any difference. Anyway, we better get inside. Come on, Sky. Why is that in the Here. Sword from all of the train. Anything on that? Very small island. Okay. I see, yes, sir. Okay. My next classes are starting next week. She better not be no bad guy. Not to whip up on that one. My squatta. Sweet boot Have you heard? We've been given our own rooms after our classes were in today. Trainer battle classes already started in the third floor. So where are we going then? Another late comer. Come in. The class is about to begin. Oh. The subject is all about our very own region, Eva. 25 years ago, we are. There were two big islands that composed the Haver region, the east and the west. The east was guarded by a guardian mid legendary Agaloon, while the west was guarded by Devel, also a guardian legendary. Hmm. I was said that the two Pokemon fought against each other during the times of war between the two island warriors. Humans and Pokemon fought against each other for colonization. Where'd the music go? That was creepy. By the time it was said that both the Guardian Legendaries were still young and just desired excitement. Soon, a Pokemon appeared in between the two armies, which made them all stop from fighting. Zaho Was it Mew? It's probably Mew. That Pokemon is called Brethren. Brethren, 
some weird Pokemon names. Guardian, Legendary of Life. I sure hope you are. You all are writing down notes. I'll give you a long quiz tomorrow. Let's continue. Shine bright and it caused the island to move and become one. After it goes gave words to all the fighting and meaningless. So it united everyone by connecting the two islands. But until today, even when Hava is now one, people are still divided by great walls. Today, the Hava region is divided by four borders. The West Sector, the East Sector, the Leon Sector, and the Fishiana se Islands. Phew. Well, that is the introduction of our lesson. The whole semester, class is dismissed. Hey, that was a lame speech. Oh, he's a slow rider. Me too. I wonder how long we stay out of I probably won't be here long. I might beat an elemental master. It's me also. First day of class. At first, I was silent and all. But now, I got bored. That's amazing. Wow, first day of class. <laughs> Classes, and we already learned. Already starting our lessons. Yeah, what's up with that teach? We have a lot to discuss about our region's history. It's a long class. I got more to go through. Ah, a few new faces around. Come in, class will begin now. Our lesson for today is about Pokemon. Pokemon come. Oh, that's the professor. Come in different shapes and sizes. And colors, right? I assume that all of our Pokemon already get your starter Pokemon. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys read this because when I read out loud, I read. You know what? I'll actually read it for you guys because I'm awesome like that. Each one of you choose different starters, which you like. Pokemon are different, mainly by their species, and their type. All Pokemon have different types, which gives them advantages and disadvantages from each other. For instance, Bulbasaur is a grass, so it's weak against fire, like Charmander, but is strong against water types, like Squirtle. There are 17 different Pokemon types known as known as of now. Those are grass type like Bulbasaur, fire type like Charmander, water type like Squirtle, bug type like Caterpie, dark type like Umbreon, dragon type like Polygon, electric type like Pikachu, fighting type like Machop, flying type like Pidgey, ghost type like Silverai, ground type like Sandshrew, ice type like Glade, Normal type like Eevee, Poison type like Zubat, Psychic type like Route, Rock type like Geodude, and the recent discovered type, Steel type like Scyther. Phew. Type resistance and weakness vary on the battling Pokemon. Learning these suits best in a real Pokemon battle were the skills of both Pokemon and the its trainer will be tested by their trust and strength. Whoops. Sorry guys, I got a little carried away. This isn't the class for Pokemon battles. Battle class is dismissed. I ain't gonna be reading little small text like that. I'm just gonna let you guys read it. Because I find that the story is probably the most important, and I'll just read it.
Pokemon have weaknesses and resist, depending on what their type is. Ah, this better be the last class. Is there an upstairs classes? Oh my god. There's so many classes. Okay, we'll do one more class and then we're done. And through, huh? A newcomer. Well, come in. We already started out of class, so please take a seat, Pokemon. Now, as I was saying, Pokemon will gain levels through battle. And if a Pokemon wins a battle, it gains experience. A Pokemon gains even more experience if it wins against a trainer Pokemon. And from gaining experience points, a Pokemon may have the possibility to evolve to become even stronger. Pokemon evolution is a very complex method. The evolution is decided by the Pokemon and the trainer. Well, in the evolution, the only fact we humans have gathered are the newly evolved Pokemon will win. Moves longer, they need more experience to level. They're stronger, of course, and a lot of their a lot other things. This will be our topic for the whole semester. Okay, class is dismissed. And I'm just gonna read him. Okay, I'm not gonna read him, I'm just saying that different Pokemons have different things. Actually, I know I'm pulling around 20 minutes or so around here, so actually I'm going to actually record an extra long episode for you guys, which is going to mean extra long rendering for me. And to stay healthy, oh, come on in, the class just started. <sighs> we got Cute teacher, Nurse Jewel. I'm just kidding. We're a girl, so we can't hit on other girls. Or can we? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, where were we at? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Well, in order for your Pokemon to stay healthy, you should always take good care of it and check their stats. Always let the nurse check their. Can condition if something is wrong, or if they tired from battle. Also, one way to keep your Pokemon healthy is to let them eat berries. There are many kinds of berries around the world, just like the orange berry. It's very healthy for your Pokemon, and it also heals your Pokemon's HP. And that's what we're going to talk about for this semester. Well. The class is dismissed. So that's awesome. We'll talk to her. Oh, she just saw me. <laughs> so there's two for you. So we got two more classes here. Did we already talk to this guy? Oh, he's sleeping on the job. He's sleeping on the job. Mr. C. And a potion can. Huh? A newcomer. Oh, come in. Oh, he's a Pokemon market person. Okay, as I was saying, the potion mate can be used to heal your Pokemon's HP during battle. This is important for a trainer to have a potion. And now, an antidote is used if your Pokemon is poisoned. Either in a battle or not, poisoning can lower your Pokemon HP. Now, during battles, your Pokemon has the possibility of becoming paralyzed. This is a very irritating stat problem for you. It troubles your Pokemon from moving. To heal paralyzed, use a paralyzed heal. Now, you all have an idea of what will be our discussion for the whole semester. Pokemon items and battle items. Well, class is dismissed. Can I talk to him real quick? There are a lot of useful items we can use in battles. Yep. X action. 
accuracy, and so on. Seems the higher we go up, the like, less classes there is. Is everyone present? I guess everyone's here now. Oh, you there. Take a seat, please. Why don't you sit in front? I hate sitting in front. I like, I like the middle or the back. Sorry, but this is how I am. Now, this semester, we will discuss about the habitat of Pokemon. Pokemon live in different places of the world. For instance, a Caterpie lives in forest and a Pidgey lives in forest. There are some Pokemon that live in mountains, seas, land. Some live in human civilization, volcanoes, deserts, snowy places. Pokemon habitat depends on two facts. Their habitat de depends on where they were born and what type they and what their type is. For instance, a larvidar commonly lives in mountains, where it's a ground type. These facts will be our topic for the whole semester. Well, I guess the class is dismissed. See, I could definitely pass through school. The school was not about Pokemon. Darn is currently being cleaned. I just went through all the classes, so... The bottom stairs is open. Someone's not doing his job. Blue Sky. What kept you? Sky. You were... You are late. Hurry up and come on. No, I guess we're late. Jonathan? Mr. Jonathan. Okay. This lesson will be teaching... Will teach you on how to be a greater trainer so you can accomplish... Oh, compete in Halo League competition. To do so, you need the eight symbols from the eight gym masters of Hebra, and to be able to get the symbols, you first need your Pokedex. You, on the other hand, already have a symbol, and so this guy symbol. What? I don't like this. I don't like this teacher. Sky symbol of freedom has been confiscated. Now, to start this class, I have called you here to teach you the basics in a Pokemon battle. First up, we will have Ryan battle against Sky. Cool. Ryan will be starting, standing there. Sky, you'll stand over here. Battle will commence. I will teach you about battling. While the two of you will battle, watch while learning is the best way of learning a Pokemon battle. And now, let the battle begin. So, what was that? An earthquake? An earthquake! Calm down, everyone. We are under attack. The Dark Organization is attacking. The economy as academy as we speak. What? The other instructors are fighting against them. What do we, what do they want with this academy? Anyways, students, listen up. Escape through this cave. This will lead you to Mineral ca Cave. We will stay here and rescue the other students. Be careful and be safe. Now go. What I wanted to battle against him. Oh. Big rock is blocking the entrance. It is impossible to move it at this point. And we're in a cave. So that means Pokemon. Oops, don't mean to press that. No, they're not high level. Yep, they're not high leveled at all. There's gonna be a lot of rock type in here since it's cave, right? So that means a lot of XP for 
Squirtle. Semester was just starting. I was really excited to be in the academy, but now there's darn dark organizations. Dark one and I, whatever, should watch out. Yeah, I know. I'm pissed. I did not like their attitude. Why would anyone want to attack the academy? This is not. This is so not funny. Oh, I don't go. Game Boy dude, but still holding on to the Game Boy. Dark Modernization started to cause trouble for about two months ago. What are they trying to achieve? Oh snap. I hate Superbats. Like, its evolution is fine. I actually like its evolution, Golbat, and then definitely Crobat. Crobat looks awesome. But I just, I can't. I never catch one just because there's a Zubat. Which is weird. I guess. I guess that other way was just a dude's. Choose the right way. I'm awesome. I'm gonna say, ugh. I'm gonna say what's back there, but never mind. This is an easy battle. One Pokemon that I do actually like is a Geodude. I never actually stuck with him because you have to trade him or trade a uh, Graveler to get a goal. Sucks. What if you can trade? What if you don't have no one to trade with? You're stupid. Is there more Squirtle evolved yet? Hmm. Um, I guess we can walk in that water. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go back and talk to that one guy though. Yeah, we're not getting much levels at all. Yeah, we can walk in the water. So I'll just run through those guys. Be useless. As of now. Too bad. First day of class. Size. That's stupid, this tax level. Should be Paul's. I thought was actually a high level than I ran. I'm so stupid. Man. Oh, this is starting to get frustrating. Get out of here. Is there water on that floor? Can we just leak down? Some sense to me. But I wish. Oh, sorry, guys. It is a really good thing that the academy has this secret cave. But I wish I was stronger so I could fight those troublemakers. Shh. You know what you need. I tackled again. Oh, I can't get all that. And I guess we're in the model while I'm doing this. Yeah. You know one thing I hate about Pokemon in caves? You can't ever get away from me. No matter how hard you try. There they're like Geodude and like, too bothersome. They're like, they appear once in a blue moon. But it's just. 
frustrating. I don't know. But I think we evolve next, um, level, so we'll have a war turtle, or turtle, turtle, so it'll be a lot, a lot awesome. Come on, war turtle. Yeah. Alright, guys. Awesome. Look at that war turtle. Sexiest war turtle ever. But damn, there's an item down there. I want it. That should be something like really awesome. A little rare candy. Set there. Tempting me. Really? It is through there. I'll stay here for a while and wait for the others. You can go on ahead. I'll catch up. Oh, wait for a second, Sky. I have something for you. Look, it's a Pokedex. This is for you. Take it. The professor said that a Pokedex is an electronic device designed to record the data of the Pokemon. Made. It's a very handy tool, and with this, you can now complete the Haver League, compete in the Haver League com competition. I was asked to distribute these to the students. That's also the reason for me to wait for them here. I'll see you, Sky. I'm sure we'll see each other again along the way. Take care. <clears throat> okay. I see. So the attack is over. Well, I'll be out. Dark organizations. Huh? Why on earth did they destroy the academy? Where did you come from, kid? Did you come from that cave? What? what? Are you, you serious? You from the academy? Tell me, what happened there? Oh, I see. You didn't, you didn't see what happened, saw what happened. I'm gonna be a grammar Nazi about that one. It should be see what happened. Hmm. So, some of you escaped through that cave. I better report this to the quarters. Hmm. You wish to know what happened? Well, I just received the news that the dark, dark organization were nowhere to be found after the Academy was completely destroyed. Currently, the rescue team are looking for survivors. This is a very sad event, but at least there are some lucky ones who escaped the tragedy. Hey, let me warn you. The Dark Organization has caused destructive acts around Hava. You should be more careful from now on. Anyways, I am Marina, a ranger. And you are? So you are Sky, huh? I remember that. I guess I should stay here for a while and wait for the others to, to escape. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. That potion. Awesome. Hey Sky, I think you should go back home for the time being. Just in case your parents are worried about you. Take care. 
like I said, skipping the berries because, like, no one wants to see you pick berries. Actually, what's in this grass? There. And I blinked out. I was like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I guess I'm going to end it here, guys, with my best buddy right here. I'm going to call him. What is your name? Ralph. No, no. Slick. See the hair? See the hair? Yeah. We're going to call him Slick. Alright, guys, I'm going to end it here with Slick. Um, if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like. Um, I really enjoy your guys' comments down below, so leave a comment too. And if you want to see more episodes of me playing Pokemon uh, Ruby Destiny Life of Guardians, subscribe and you'll get more content. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed the episode. So, I'll see you guys later. Sorry guys, I also forgot to mention that um, a shout out to the Elvis Reviews, I believe is his name. If anything, I'll leave it up in an annotation right there, somewhere around in the screen. I don't know, I'll just do this. It should be at the end of the episode, so. The Elvis Reviews, um, the link to his channel in the description below, um, check out his channel, he's got a lot of subscribers and he's got great content, so, yeah, hop on over there and check it out, so, see you guys later.